Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this little pixie hat here. Uh, I'm going to sizes uh, 2 to 4. I don't have any other sizes available at the moment, but size 2 to 4. Um, if you, I do have a written pattern, you want to check down below in the description box for that. Also, you can um, look down in the description box for a link to purchase this yarn here that I used. I actually just used Red Heart Super Saver, which is 100% four ply acrylic and the color I used is a rand black so there'll be a link below in case you can't find that anywhere where you can get this if you want to use this color of course you can use any color that you like and one skein is enough to probably do a couple hats so it doesn't take a lot and then I'm using a size I which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook Okay, you want to start off with a chain of 57, and then what we're going to do is one single crochet in the second stitch from the hook, and remember we never count this one that's on our hook, so one single crochet in the second stitch, and then one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. Just like that all the way until you get to the end okay when you make it to the end of your chain you should have a total of 56 stitches now and what we're going to do is chain one and turn our work now we're going to put a single crochet right here in this very very first stitch like that and then we're going to put one single crochet and every stitch across for the length or to the end of the row. So we're working on row two now. So this pattern is really pretty easy. It'd be great for a beginner and it's really, really cute when it's finished. So it looks like you spent hours and hours on it, but really it won't take that much time at all. So one single crochet in every stitch to the end of the row. Okay, once you make it to the end of row two, you should still have 56 stitches. So we're going to chain one, and we're just going to repeat row two. So we're going to single crochet right here in this very first stitch. And then one single crochet in every stitch across until you get to the end of the row. And we're just going to keep repeating row two until we have 26 rows. So we're working on row three now. And you should always have 56 stitches at the end of every row. So row three, I'm on now. And I'm going to work the same row until I hit 26 rows. So just rows of single crochet. So when I get to row 26, I will meet back up with you and we'll start from there. Okay, once you get your 26 rows done, and you still should have your uh, 56 stitches. So what we're going to do is chain one and turn. And starting in the very first stitch here, we're going to single crochet and we're going to put one single crochet in the first 17 stitches. So that would be number one. And we're going to work until we get 17. Okay, I did my 17 single crochets, and now I'm going to put one half double crochet into the next 22 stitches. Half doubles this time. So one, two, three,
Okay, I did my 22 half double crochets, and now I'm going to put one single crochet in the remaining stitches, and there should be 17 remaining if we counted right. Okay, I made it and I had 17 left just like I was supposed to and you still should have 56 total stitches and that was at the end of round 27. So we're going to start round 28 by chaining one and turning. And now starting in the very first stitch, we're going to work one single crochet into the next 19 stitches. So that would be one, two, Okay, I did my one single crochet in the first 19 stitches, and now I'm going to do one half double crochet into the next 18 stitches. Half double into the next 18. Okay, I have doubled in my next 18, and now it's going to be one single crochet in the remaining 19 stitches. So one single crochet till the end, and it should be 19. Okay, I made it to the end of row 28, and I still should have 56 stitches. So I'm going to chain one and turn, and we're going to start row 29. And now we're going to do, starting in the very first stitch again, we're going to do one single crochet into the first 21 stitches now. So one, two... I did the sing uh, 21 single crochets. Now we're going to do half doubles. So we're going to do one half double into the next 14 stitches. So there's one, two, three. Okay, I did my 14 half doubles, and now it's one single crochet. And remaining 21 stitches. Okay, that came to the end of row 29. Six stitches still. So for row 30, we're going to chain one and turn. And now it's one single crochet into the first 23 stitches now. So there's one, two, three, four, six. Okay, I singled in my first 23. Now I'm going to half double into the next 10. In, and now I'm going to single crochet in the remaining 23 stitches. Okay, I did my 23. Now we're going to chain one and turn. And now it is one single crochet into the first 25 stitches. So there's one. Two. 
Okay, I singled in my first 25. Now I'm going to half double into the next six. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I am going to single into my last 25. Okay, I singled in my last 25. Now we're going to chain one and turn. Now we're going to single in our first 27 this time. So there's one two, three, four, six. Okay, I singled in my first 27, and now I'm going to half double crochet into the next two stitches. Like that. And then single crochet into my last 27 stitches. Okay, I went ahead and singled in my last 27. Now, that's all we're going to do. Now, what you want to do is clip a long tail so we can sew it up after that last row. And you can see this is what it looks like. It kind of has a curve at the top. And that's going to be the point of the pixie hat. So, if there's a side that you like better, now you kind of look the same to me, but if there's a side that you like better, um, put the wrong side facing you. So, like that. I don't know, whichever side, they look the same. So what we're going to do is sew up the back where this point is using this long tail and a yarn needle. I'm going to start down here and sew all the way up. So I'm just going to take my yarn needle and I'm just going to match my stitches up. I'm going to grab the inside of each stitch of each loop. And go, that didn't work out for me. Let me do that again. Okay. You see how each stitch has two loops? There's the one closest to you is the back loop. The one furthest, the one closest to you is the front loop. And the one furthest away is the back loop. So I'm going to grab like the back loop of this one and the front loop of this one. And that's how I'm going to sew it together. Really, it's not that. You can kind of sew it together anyway. You can even slip stitch it together if you want. It's not really going to make that big of a difference. But you just want to make sure you keep your stitches matched up when you're sewing. And pull it tight there so the seam doesn't gap open. And you do this all the way up. And then when we get done, we'll just hide our tail and flip it right side out. So the seam will be on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and finish sewing mine all the way up here to the point. Okay, I got mine all sewed up. So I'm going to flip it right side out here. Kind of push the point out real good. Go down the seam. I'm always going to push the seam out a bit. And there's that part so far. Now we're going to go around the whole piece and add the strings. And then, then that will be it. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to start making... We're going to go around it all and we're going to make the strings. So you want your work facing you like this. Here's the top of the hat down here. Here's the point. And we're going to start down here in this corner. Now you want to start off with a chain of 33 or you can make your chain... Uh, like your little strap for however long you want but I did 33 so now I'm going to start 
and I'm going to single crochet into this very first corner here like that and now I'm just going to work one single crochet and I'm just going to kind of evenly space them out one single crochet in every stitch up this is actually the back of the bonnet that we're working on so you can kind of see where they go if you look closely it's just at the end of each row but it doesn't have to be perfect just kind of evenly space out one single crochet all the way around the back side of the bonnet here like this so I'm going to keep doing this until I get over there to the other side I'll show you what we do when we get over here to the split of uh, the bonnet I kind of just jump the split kind of well, if you wanted to put it single crochet in there you could I kind of just jump over here like that like I said the single crochets it's not necessity the count of them is not have to be perfect so I'm going to continue and evenly spacing my single crochets around until I get back over here okay here's where I'm at you can see that I've single crocheted I started my chain here and I single crocheted evenly all the way across the back so now um, here's the front well now I'm gonna do another chain so I'm gonna single crochet right here in this very first stitch up here single crochet and then I'm gonna chain 33 one two three four or you chain one however many chains you did I 33 I did 33 okay now we're going to work up this chain so in the second stitch from the hook we're going to single crochet but what i'm going to do is i'm going to work if you flip your chain over to the back you see these little bumps here i'm not going to go through that one loop of the bump that little bump right there that one loop and single crochet that kind of makes it look if you do that all the way down just little just that one loop that's kind of on the back it kind of makes it look like a foundationless single crochet. It makes it look, your chain look neater, so there's not going to be big gaping holes on one side. So you do this all the way up your chain. And you don't have to do it this way if you can't, can't get it. You can just put one single crochet and regularly in every stitch you do this all the way up your chain here and that's what it kind of looks like okay once you made it all the way up your chain what you want to do now is we're going to single crochet one single crochet in every stitch across the front so this, I'm going to single crochet here right in the same stitch again. So right there. And then one single crochet in every stitch across until we get to the other side. And this is the front of our bonnet that we're working on now.
Okay, I've made it to the other side, and you can see that I'm at my other chain, my very first chain, and I started. So now we're going to work one single crochet down this chain, and then that'll be it. So I'm going to go ahead and single crochet in this this stitch right here, the start of the chain. And now I'm going to work one single crochet down the chain, the same way I did the other one, through that little bump on the back. If you can do it that way. This first one's always hard to get. I'm going to pull it out. but And remember, you don't necessarily have to do it this way, but you can do it regular style. So one single crochet in every stitch all the way down until you hit the end of your chain here. Getting that Hitting that bump on the back is not easy. That stitch, one stitch on the back, but it does make it look a little bit better, the chain. So I'm gonna do this until I get down to the last stitch in my chain. Okay, when you make it to the end of this chain, I'm going to slip stitch into that last stitch instead of single crocheting and I'm going to tie it off and I'm going to hide all my tails and then I'm going to be done. That's it. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoy my tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you make this, I'd really like to see a picture of it, of your little one in it or if you can. You can post the picture on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. And don't forget, I'll put a link where you can purchase this yarn. Also, a link to the written pattern. And I'll put a link to my Instagram account if you want to follow me on there. See what's going on with me on there. And until next time, have a good day.